While cases are on the rise, mask mandates have been stripped away. And for the most vulnerable, their chances of getting the virus is even higher now. New tonight, our Justina Cornell spoke with a local doctor about a new treatment for immunocompromised patients. I think it's still a re really scary time. I am immunocompromised. I take immunosuppressant medication. I have autoimmune myocarditis. So I've been on those medications for about four years. For Lily McMorrow, her guard is up as masks go down. Mandates have eliminated and the pandemic has taken a turn into this new phase of less mask wearing. Knowing that people are starting to take masks off when they go on airplanes and things like that. For me, that means that I won't be able to travel. I'll have to be extra careful because my community isn't being extra careful for me. 24 year old McMorrow knows she can't risk it. I actually didn't produce very many antibodies to the vaccine and I caught COVID after being fully vaccinated in December and I was hospitalized. And even after that infection, I didn't produce any antibodies. So I have very little protection. However, a new COVID therapy is giving her a new sense of hope. Evisheld is probably the most exciting thing that has happened for a while. Washington University physician Dr. Alfred Kim wants to make sure people know about Evisheld. We were a little surprised that uh, some patients and even some healthcare providers were unaware that this product is out there. The therapy is a pair of monoclonal antibody injections designed to prevent COVID-19. The clinical trial data showed that there was about 77% reduction in infection rates in people given Evisheld. This is not meant to be a substitute for the vaccine. Um, this is to help amplify the pre-existing vaccine responses, which still are probably going to be attenuated. So again, this fills in that gap. McMorrow received her dosage earlier this month. It's empowering her with a better fight paired with some relief. It's definitely given me a little bit of peace of mind. Justina Cornell, five on your side. The WashU doctor says to ask your physician if Evusheld is right for you, he recommends asking sooner rather than later. That's because White House officials recently announced the purchase of more doses may be scaled back without new federal funding.